Wills Wheeler, a main member of the cast from the OG days at Degrassi, as in Degrassi Junior High, all the way to Degrassi High, and sporadically seen in the Next Generation phase. But for obvious reasons, because as an OG character, he didn't really get much time in the reboot. However, his is a path of destruction, abuse, and basically negligence on his part. This is... The wheels fell off the bus with this character. Now, Derek Wheeler was introduced as a friend of Joey and Snake in the Degrassi OG series, Degrassi Junior High. He was portrayed as trying to have relationships with girls, especially Stephanie. However, his relationship with Stephanie in season one of Junior High basically was one of convenience. And then when basically um, Steph wants to play it off saying that Joey wants to be with Joey, basically um, Steph decides to date Joey to make Wheels jealous and basically all that. But that actually fails in Steph's path because Steph realizes all these things. And, you know, that's when she gets impeached as student council leader because she was supposed to give a job to a certain grade and basically gave it to someone older, basically, all that. So basically that throws Steph off the, the student council and all that. She didn't really want to be on student council. She just wanted to be popular. And unfortunately, she fails miserably. And of course, Steph loses her right-hand woman, Bola, who moves to the suburbs in season two. But anyway, Wheels basically wasn't in too many episodes. However, in the episode Parents' Night, he's shown talking to Spike because, you know, Spike just got pregnant and all that. And Wheels actually tells Spike that, you know, his parents aren't real. His parents are adopted. Like, he, his parents are adoptive parents. Like, he doesn't know his real parents and all that. And basically... Spike gives him a little bit of sympathy. In season two, Wheels is not doing well in school. However, Wheels is told to wear glasses and all that to correct his vision. So basically with that, his grades start to jump up and all that. However, season two was basic of junior high was basically the ep season that saw him hang out way more with Joey and Stig and form a band called the Sit Remedy. Later, it's trying to be the Sits. So basically, Wheels, Joey, and Snake are in a band, and they like to play together. Unfortunately, the Wheels' parent, adoptive parents, or parents, whatever you want to call it, basically say that Joey's a bad influence on him. They don't have any qualms with Snake, but with Joey, they do. And basically, Wheels thinks that his parents are just being overprotective and all that. In one Junior High episode... When Wheels gets Joey and Snake to sleep over with him, you know, they, they talk and all that. But they sleep in, and unfortunately, Snake has to head to a, I mean, sorry, Wheels has to head to a eye doctor's appointment and all that. Joey decides to drive um, Snake's car, uh, Snake's dad's car and all that. And they find out they have a, a dent in it. And they basically panic and decide to use all the money that they earn trying to help their band out to basically pay for the dent and all that. Which they did. Now, of course, Wheels was found out to be with Joey, even though he wasn't supposed to be with Joey. Because his adoptive mother said that basically that was actually Snake's dad calling and saying thank you for repairing the dent. Because the dent was something that Snake's dad did. And basically, they fixed it all for nothing. So basically, all the parents decide that they can't hang out around each other. And basically, the band gets their stuff confiscated. So basically, they can't really hang out with each other and all that. In Season 3 of Junior High, basically, Wheels is told to stay away from Joey at all costs and all that. Joey convinces Wheels to come over to his house and all that. Wheels has an out because his parents are going to the movies and and Wheels doesn't feel like it. 
So Wheels decides to go over to Joey's. And then all of a sudden, he comes home, he finds the police in front of his house. He's thinking, oh my gosh, they called the cops on me because I'm with Joey. However, his grandma comes out of a cop car and actually tells Wheels the terrible news that his mother and father, or adopted mother and father, if you will, are dead. They died in a car crash caused by a drunk driver. So basically, Wheels is upset that his adopted parents are gone and all that. Radich announces the news in English class and says that Wheels will need something. And tells Susie, because she was a good treasurer, that she could she should uh, raise money to help Wheels out, get a card and flowers and all that. And at the funeral, you know, you see Snake, you see Joey, you see the twins, Erica and Heather, you see Spike, you even see Radich. Who says this guy's not caring whatsoever? Basically, Wheels was there, his grandma's there, or his grandfather, I think, Wheels' grandfather was actually, like, he can't talk and all that, but he, I don't think really talk, but he's in a wheelchair and all that, and basically, Wheels feels depressed and all that, losing his parents like that, we treated the parents. Wheels' grandma is basically a little bit upset and all that, with that, and it's unknown what Wheels' living situation is. Wheels wants his grandparents to move in with him, so he doesn't have to move in with his grandparents. But because they live close to Degrassi, Wheels didn't have to change school. Thank goodness for that. Wheels felt upset at himself. But it soon revealed that he was more ticked at Joey because, you know, if Joey had been so persistent in, in fighting Wheels over, and Wheels even beats up Joey over it, that Wheels could have, been, could have went to the movies with his parents and maybe they would have been alive. And Joey says, but yeah, but if this had, drunk driver happened, you would have died too, and that would have been really sad. All that. It seems to be that Joey was trying to get rid of the blame and all that, but he was also saying that Wheels might have been wrong, in a sense. So Wheels is upset. Sadly, though, this would be one of the catalysts for Wheels' downfall, if you will. Wheels basically cannot process his parents' death and all that. And basically, he skips school on occasion and all that. His grades start to suffer. He starts to have a bad relationship with his grandparents. That wasn't that wasn't the last draw, of course. Thankfully, though, thanks to sympathy and all that, and realizing that basically with his parents' death and all that, Wheels just couldn't concentrate. Even though Wheels should have gotten help from somebody from the school and all that, Wheels is allowed to continue on to the next grade. But then, Degrassi High comes in. Yes, Wheels doesn't really have much of a girlfriend. Doesn't really have a girlfriend in Degrassi High. And yes, Wheels does, in fact, prevent, try to prevent himself from drinking any beer because that's how his parents died from a drunk driver. But Wheels' personality problems caught up to him in Degrassi High, especially with his grandparents who are raising him. Not just with the fact that Wheels disobeys them and all that, but Wheels actually decides, I believe in season two of Degrassi High, to try to find his birth father. And his grandmother's not happy that he wants to connect with his birth father. So basically, he actually hitchhikes to try to find his real dad and all that. And almost gets accosted by a traveling salesman. Thankfully, though, Wheels is safe and he doesn't get in trouble. So basically, you know, he finds his father, he wants to be with his father, but his father says that, you know, I don't think you would like the life I'm living and all that, being in a band and all that. Although that's where Wheels gets his musical talents. So basically, despite having some feelings towards Wheels, his dad, his dad Mike, decides to call Snake's grandmother, to, I mean, not Snake's, Wheels' grandmother to pick him up. From Kings, I think it was Kingston, I can't remember. But anyway, saying that, you know, she should be raising him and all that. And Wills feels upset. But at least he met his father. Unfortunately, though, Wills 
get into trouble. It's not just for, you know, like being hanging around Joey and Snake. It's just curfew and all that. He breaks curfew on occasion. He basically lies. He deceits his grandparents. He basically gets kicked to the curb. His grandmother has a nap. And rightfully so, I may add. So basically, Wheels decides to try to crash at Joey's at the meantime because his grandmother kicked him out. Unfortunately, he runs afoul when he steals money from Joey's mom, which Joey, Joey gets blamed for. But yeah, he steals money and all that. He basically decides to... He gets kicked out by Joey, obviously. He tries to reason with his grandparents, but he refuses to bend to the rules, so he decides to go to Snake's. However, Snake decides to let Wills in, but not in his home, but sleep outside on the porch and all that. So Wills basically, after that, I think he finally called back to his grandparents. We don't see Wills for a while, and then when Showtime happens, that's the episode when Claude kills himself. Wheels pops up in, I believe, the second part and basically says, well, how's Snake doing? And Joey says, well, he's he had the trauma of seeing Claude's dead body in the bathroom, so he should be back soon. And Wheels says, I know that Joe, no, I know that Snake is mad at me, but do you think it'll be okay if I give him a call? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll cheer him. And Wheels actually gives an envelope of money to Joey to give to his mom. That's basically for swiping. That's what the money he swiped from her. He decides to work at his gas station and basically it sucks and all that, but at least it's honest work. So it looks like Wheels is basically starting to pick up his leg. You know, the sits are doing okay and all that. Wheels feels better about himself. It feels like Wheels has got himself back on track. The wheels are on the road again. And then school's out. Just had to freaking happen. Basically put, in one of the major plot lines, not the major plot line, the, the B plot, if you will. The A plot was Joey dealing with Tessa and Caitlin. The C plot was about Lucy ha throwing a party for her fellow graduates and all that. And, of course, somehow lost in everything was Alexa and Simon's wedding ideas and all that. So basically put, the B plot was that Wheels is a mechanic. He's done well, he's treated an old car, he fixes it up, and he's ready to drive it to Calgary to move in with his girlfriend Karen. So he's basically moving to Alberta, which is great. He's, pick, he's picking up speed and all that. He's doing quite well for himself. He has a plan. Sadly though, he starts drinking consistently, very consistently. And Snake is not too happy about it because, you know, Snake is mad that Wheels had promised never to drink beer because of how his adoptive parents died. But, unfortunately, um, Wheels is not following his own advice. So, basically, he's drinking all that, and you can tell by Snake's reaction and schools out that something's going to happen. So, then, you know, Wheels is also adding to Snake's anger by him and Joey basically saying that we have girlfriends, what about you? Where's your girlfriend? And laughing at him. But then, of course, at the beach house, Wheels is drinking all the, that, and Lucy says, oh no, we need chips. I need someone to drive me. Wheels, can you drive me? And Wheels says, okay, maybe I should drive you. After all, it's to the corner store. That, not realizing how drunk he really is. Sadly, though, this would be trouble, as the next scene we see with Wheels is basically him in a police car as two cars collided and all that. His car collided with another car. And it's found out that there was a two-year-old who died because of Wheels slamming into the other car's backside or something like that. So I don't know how the accident happened. Worst to come was Lucy basically got really injured in the car crash. Her sight is bad. She's got broken bones and all that. Wills is just fine. Like, he doesn't really have a lot of injuries, but, like, how he manages to survive and all that is beyond me. Unfortunately, he's in jail and all that. And basically, Lucy will have a lot of time to rehab and all that. At jail, Joey visits him in jail, while Snake basically avoids 
Wheels. And basically, Wheels tries to plead his innocence to Joey and all that, saying that, you know, how he's being persecuted and all that. However, the fact of the matter is that it just doesn't happen that way. And, you know, he seems to be guilty, but he seems to try to pass blame and all that, saying that it wasn't really my fault and all that. And why is Nate not seeing me and all that? Of course, Nate has absolute reason not to be near a Wheels. So basically, Wheels is in jail. And then in the reboot, the first ever episode was Mother and Child Reunion. We basically find out that Wheel Wheels isn't there. It's like, well, I guess he's in jail or something. And then in a deleted scene that, well, a deleted scene if you're American, but in a real scene if you're Canadian, Wheels comes to the reunion. Radich escorts Lucy that, that someone wants to talk to him. And that was Wheels. Wheels basically says to, to Lucy he regrets everything he did, and especially hurting her, putting her in physical therapy and all that, and wishes that this had not happened. He took a long time to think about what he did. And he feels remorse and all that. And said he just wanted to tell her that, and then he was going to leave the reunion. He does. And Lucy says, in all honesty, I feel bad for him. So basically, Wheels got Lucy to forgive him. And then we don't see or have any mention of Wheels after that. Until season three, when Snake goes through his chemo thing, Joey tries to cheer him up by taking him bowling with another friend who's bald too, and that's Wheels. Snake is appalled. But Wheels wants to talk to Snake one on one. Snake reluctantly agrees. However, Wheels does the right thing by basically telling Snake that basically what he did about putting Lucy in the hospital with those injuries and killing a two year old boy because of his problems with drunk driving, he regretted it. He spent a lot of time thinking about it and figures that, you know. He deserved it and how it changed his life and basically now he's regretting all the bad decisions he did and, you know, Snake agrees. Snake understands that Wheels is basically being legitimate with trying to turn his life around. So he basically forgives Wheels and all that and then Wheels, Joey, and Snake all say everybody wants something and all that and, you know, it cheers Snake up. It didn't cure Snake's chemo but it help. Unfortunately, though, that would be the last happy ending for Neil Hope as he tragically died a while after the, the cameo and all that. And in fact, Neil's death was not reported for five years. That is amazing. I feel bad for Neil Hope. And I feel bad for Wheels, too. Say what you want. I think Wheels was basically a tragic character who basically got what he deserved in a sense. I know for sure there was a Degrassi wiki, I mean, not Degrassi Reddit post about wheels and all that. If I can pull it up. Oh, here we go. Um, so anyway, this Reddit post is called, Beside his parents' death, wheels' biggest problems are his own fault. And such comments said these things. There were several comments and all that. So basically, somebody said, he treated his grandma so badly, and I don't blame her for tossing him out. Such comments said about that, said that she was so old and just trying to do what she thought she could do, and she kept getting hurt over and over. She drove hours just to get him home safe. And she basically opened up her home to him, knowing she's already got her hands full with her husband. All she asked in return was Wills to do house chores, but he wasn't having it. All that. And then such comments that stealing from people's parents isn't really grieving. It's just being a bad friend and all that. And basically, a lot of people said that, you know, he was milking the My Parents Are Dead card for a while. And basically, it got old. 
Yeah, that sentiment's not old. I mean, like, you know, he went to jail, he finally redeemed himself, and then basically, you know, his actor ended up being dead all of a sudden. Poof. We didn't know for five years. That's amazing. So anyway, Wills' death is a sympathetic tragic case of basically a character who basically couldn't grieve handling and then basically self-destructed and all that. It wasn't as bad as you think it was, but it's still a self-destruction in my book. 